Hello, welcome back to our series in financial math. Uh, in this video, we're going to talk about compound interest, future value versus present value, and what the difference is. So we have a compound interest formula, which was A equals P, then 1 plus R over M to the M T. So the exponent is M T. Now, R is the interest rate, M representing the number of compounding, or how, how many times you compound in one year. So what's A and P? In previous videos, we said that A represented accumulated amount, which it still does, but what we also refer to it as, I'm sorry, we can also refer to it as the future value. How much is my money worth in the future? And P stands for principal, but it also, or we also refer to it as present value. So when we're talking about future value versus present value, we're really talking about how much money are we going to have in the future compared to, well, how much do we have to have today? Or how much, like, um, well, here, let's actually do an example. So we have the following question. How much money should be deposited in, a, say, a bank account? Today, paying interest at 6% per year compounded monthly so that at the end of five years, the accumulated, or now we're referring to as future value, will be $30,000. So, again, if you're taking these in different classes, you may have multiple formulas, one for future value and one for present value. But it is the same formula. It comes from this formula here, the compound interest formula. The difference is, oops, sorry. R over M. The difference is that when we're referring to future value, we have a formula A equals. So, you know, plugging in information, we get a va uh, value for A. Now, what you'll find in like a textbook is that they can also solve this for P. And so that formula would be a formula for present value. But, you know, we're just going to use the same formula here because why memorize more than one? So how much should be deposited today? So what I'm looking for is the present value. I want, oops, sorry, I want this value right here. Now I know everything else, okay? I know the future value, it is $30,000. I don't know the present value, but I do know the interest rate, which is 0.06. And I do know the number of uh, times I compound in a year because it's monthly, it's 12 raised to the 12 times. Now, the number of years is five years. So we're not going to be able to solve this immediately, but I can simplify the right-hand side. So it's going to be $30,000 equals P times, now what's going to be in here? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to simplify this here, and I get 1.34. Now, when doing this, uh, you don't want to round too much. So what I'm going to do is go out to as many decimals as my calculator will allow me. Because rounding in the middle of these problems can be very, or pretty much can change your answer by quite a bit. So well anyways, if you're familiar with algebra, what I want to do is I want to solve for P. So I'm going to divide both sides by this long 1.34 and so on. So P is going to be 30,000 divided by that long number there. So 1.34885053. And so let me plug that in my calculator. And I'll get, there we go, 20,000, nope, sorry, $22,241. And we'll round that up to 17 cents. So let's scroll down here. So what we know is that I have a present value. The amount of money I need to invest today, so present value, all right, and that's going to be $22,241.17. And my future value is going to be how much this is worth in five years, hence the name future value. And that's going to be worth $30,000. Now, if you use this number and plug it into this formula up here for now P to see if you'll get $30,000, it's 
it'll be a little bit off again because of rounding um, you're going to be off by probably a dollar I don't know may a little bit probably less probably within a penny so again that's the difference between future value and present value now if you're really really kind of stuck on that whole like I want my formula for present value well that's fine so here's the formula for present value. It's going to be P equals A, 1 plus R over M to the negative MT. So notice the only difference is that the A's and P's have been swapped and that there's a negative on the exponent. So let's see what happens when I use this formula for present value. So we're going to get $30,000, because again, that's my future value, 1 plus 0.06 over 12 to the 12 times, sorry, negative 12 times 5. And so when you plug that in your calculator, you will get $22,241. And uh, while well, rounding to one penny, we'll get 17 cents. So we do get the same answer, but and it's fine if you want to remember another formula. There you go. So we have two formulas. We have the present value, which we now have a formula for, which is P equals A 1 plus R over M to the negative MT. So you'll see different questions that may ask you about present value. They may ask you about the original principle. Point is, is present value is what the money is worth today. Like if I wanted to invest money, what do I have to put in today so that in the future it's worth whatever? So that's present value. And the formula for future value is going to be A equals P 1 plus R over M to the M T. So A and P switched. Notice that it is positive here. Um, so there you go.